This segment sponsored by JoJo Maker Productions. Well, there is also a new film about to have its red carpet premiere here in Baltimore. We're seeing a little sneak peek right That's now. That's right. Not only was it made by Baltimore natives, it was also filmed in our city. We're talking with the film creators, Edwin Maker and Jeremy Butler, about this film. Thank you so much for joining us. This is very Thanks exciting. Yeah. So tell us about the film. Yeah, it's called A Day in the Life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's based off of four main characters. And how I came up with the concept was, you know, after the Freddie Gray riots mm -hmm. and the Michael brown rides i just had to tell you know the story of the streets but not only the streets is because people don't always see the police side I yeah have, real talk. Have friends and family that are the police and it's not easy growing up as a minority it's not easy growing up um as a police officer sure. so um i was actually a correctional officer for a very short time interesting okay yeah. so you have some special insight into this i do i do and uh, i was on a tier with a man who killed his own brother wow oh my gosh so if you're a police officer and you're coming out like you're looking for this guy who killed his own brother you know he doesn't care yeah. about you yeah right. so i had to tell the police side i had to tell you know the people who are in the street side i wanted to tell all sides and that also hits on uh, mass shootings school shootings mm -hmm. so very timely it's just a lot going on in the country and i just had yes. that we got to bring peace to it so that's why i, made I agree story. absolutely yeah. and i think that's the power of creativity that you're mm -hmm. able to you know to bring highlight and yeah and bring yeah. something like this to the forefront and so you guys wear many hats i know yes. that you work in front of the camera and behind the camera yeah you're doing yeah. it all <laughs> how has that been it's, it's amazing um it's been a, a really big deal um this film is different from any other film that I've worked on because mm -hmm. other films that I've worked on were for entertainment purposes. Mm -hmm. With this one, we're trying to find a solution for all the topics that come up in right. the film. Police brutality, gang violence, school shootings, and I feel like this is the perfect time to release it. So yes. what's the overall message that you guys are trying to convey from this film? Number one, just see just show all sides mm -hmm. just show all sides how is it you know being a police officer how is it you know being in the, the streets and just being like you know stereotype you know yeah. that i'm an evil person just because one or son just because one or some do something mm -hmm. doesn't mean they all do it so right. just to you know i don't want you know these people to be stereotyped you know yeah give us all a little bit of perspective and see points of views that exactly. we may not have known before prior to seeing this exactly and i feel like when we see it on the news it's just the ending just yeah. what right. happened we don't know what happened leading up to that so by showing the audience um the whole story the full picture we can come up with solutions to, to end all this stuff Definitely. that's the deal you know being both from baltimore and yes. being able to like showcase this in our city filming in our city and also you know bring awareness to something that needs to be talked about it feels really good it's yeah. so exciting it's so exciting. We're having our, our first Ray Copper premiere. It was fun. It was just being able, it was just so authentic, just being in the streets of Baltimore, mm -hmm. you know, and using all Baltimore. Everybody was DMV, everybody who was yeah. in the film. Nice, keeping uh, it local. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. It felt yeah. really good. Uh, Jeremy did all the camera work. Um, it was really exciting. It feels so good, especially to tell the story. I feel like people. You know, I saw it last week in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, it was two cops who were shot and killed. They were right, ambushed. Right, while they were just eating. Just a eating. Meal. Wow. And it's just like, you know, the police, you know, when they were doing the interview, it was like police are labeled as, you know, these evil people. Sure. But they didn't, he didn't speak on as to why it could have happened. Right, and so you're giving like, us a look into all of the potential backstories that, that people don't consider. So you mentioned that you have a red carpet premiere coming up. That's next Thursday. Yeah, tell that. us all about it. Yep, Thursday, May 10th at Hoyt's West Nursery Theater in Lithicum, Maryland. Uh, red carpet starts at 6. Actual film starts at 7 p.m. Um, just come out. You can dress up real nice. Nice. Yes. Okay, what is fancy. the in our city? You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Get all yes. dolled up. Yeah, and it's all fun. the details are on your screen right now if you want to learn more. So where can we go if we want to learn more about you guys and about this film? Is there uh, a website we can check out? You can follow me on Facebook, Edwin Playmaker. You can follow me on Instagram, EKMaker3. Um, you can follow me at J Sykes on Instagram, J-A-Y-P-S-Y-C-H-S. Um, and you'll also see a lot of our, our movie content on there as well. Posters, our Instagram for the actual movie. You'll see everything Wonderful. online. Well, thank you so much, thank guys. Thank you so much for being with Continue us. Continue to use your work. gifts, too. This is really important. Definitely. Thanks so much.